2022 regular season finale against the Denver Broncos. We are currently 9-7 and seven on the year. They are 4-12, and 12, and we have yet to clinch a playoff spot. So there's a chance that we do not make the playoffs if we lose this game. But if we win, I believe we will clinch at least the 7th seed. Uh, I think we can go up to 6. That's the only highest we can get. That's if the Jets end up losing. But, must win game. We win, and we're in. And of course, I have decided I'm only going to play offense. Uh, because I am ass cheeks at defense. But, not only do we get Austin Eckler back this week. But, we get Rayshon Slater, as you can see on the left side. And Joey Bosa, all back for the regular season finale heading into the playoffs. Our team is fully healthy. So that is huge. I did up the quarters to nine minutes since I'm playing um, only offense. The quarters or the games are going to go by quick. Austin Eckler breaks free for a big run. Gain of 28 yards. I also uh, gave Justin Herbert an X-Factor because why does this man not have an X-Factor Madden? Let's be honest here. He's, one of the, he's a top five quarterback in the league and he should have an X-Factor. And I think next year um, Austin Eckler should have an X-Factor. Well, how is he only a superstar? He is a top three back in the league, I like to say. I'm not sure if everyone's going to... Okay, if you don't agree, it kind of... Uh, let's see. It's probably uh, Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs, uh, Eckler, Nick Chubb. Or maybe you can put Nick Chubb. He's a top five back. We'll say that. Austin Eckler's a top five back in the league. And returning back from injury, he immediately gets in the end zone for a touchdown that's just what this man does he just gets touchdowns on the ground in the air it doesn't matter we're gonna go up by seven after a big austin eckler run what a start to this game and defense does their job here we're gonna get justin herbert going in the passing game uh, he's only had one attempt so far and trey mckitty is gonna get that reception haul it in um justin herbert two for two 21 yards so far in this game we're going to keep going with the passing plays and see what is going to happen. High pass. Austin Eckler with the reception up to the 29-yard line. What a reception from him coming back from injury already going crazy. Mike Williams is in one-on-one -on -one coverage, and I'm going to throw it up to him. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Mike Williams, touchdown, goes over the top. On whoever Williams is, number 21. Williams on Williams crime right there. What a catch, number 21. That's actually a good thing for Madden because he wasn't paying attention. He tried to go for the legs instead of the ball. And Mike Williams gets a reception and we're right back on the board. The Broncos answer back with the field goal. Might as well say in the air here, it's been working. As Herbert already has his X-Factor. And I'm going to roll right. And that's going to be Everett on the reception this offense cannot be stopped right now. I am playing this on all Madden, by the way. Austin Eckler's already got 65 receiving yards. But yeah, this this is on all Madden instead of all pro. Oh my god, Austin Eckler in the end zone again. Second touchdown of the day. Wow. But yeah, uh, I don't know if there's a way I can check in game. Is that possible? Probably not. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can check. But yeah, this is on all Madden difficulty as the Broncos are going to score right back. And 21-10. to 10. I mean, the Broncos obviously aren't a good team. But, boy, we are we are tearing them apart here. What a route by Joshua Palmer for the first down. Oh, Keenan Allen, bro, in the end zone. That is yet another touchdown. I believe that is the fourth of the day. Nope, it's definitely not the fourth because the second of the day? Is that number two? For Herbert, we have 28 points. Eckler has two on the ground, one in the air. That would be 21. So, nah, I'm tripping. That is not his first touchdown. As the Broncos don't do anything. How many touchdowns does Herbert have? That is his second touchdown. What was that catch for Mike Williams? I could have sworn that was a touchdown. I guess not. I already forgot, to be honest with you. I thought that was a touchdown. Gerald Everett over the middle. That's going to be Herbert's first incompletion. There's 48 seconds left in this second quarter. Uh, let's see if we can try and put points up on the board. I mean, we score another touchdown. I might end up benching our starters. Herbert somehow completes that pass up the middle. We got 39 seconds left. 
no need to hurry up. Let's just get a play and uh, see what we can do. 18 seconds left. I'm not in a rush to score. Um, e Keenan. Keenan Allen. Touchdown. We can take a shot to the end zone here. Uh, and if we don't get it, we'll still have enough time uh, for a field goal. So I will definitely take that. Let's see. Second quarter. Eight seconds left. And we are not going to have a shot at the end zone. We're going to kick the field goal. Two seconds left on the clock. Did not see anything there. And we get this chip shot. And easily go up by 21 points heading into halftime. 31-10. to 10. And I think I'm going to bring in the bench. Broncos cut it to a two-score game. But you know what? I'm hell bound on the starters getting in here. Uh, Eck was still in the game for some reason. Even though I benched him. And he's still... Ball leg out. But we do bring in Easton Stick. All right. We don't want Herbert getting hurt out of all people. Brought in Josh Palmer, DeAndre Carter, and um, what's his name? Something Woods. Number 11. I obviously know who he is, but I don't remember his first name. Brought in Trey McKitty at tight end. At, how did you mess that pass up? But yeah, obviously some of the starters are going to end up coming in the game. As you can see, Allen's in the game. And I don't know why Eckler's still in the game. He really should not be in the game as Carter somehow gets that reception. But third and seven here. Uh, okay, what's going on with uh, Austin Eckler here, bro? I literally benched him. I literally benched him. Look at that. He should not... Okay, he's going all the way down there. No reason why he should be in the game. But I guess he can stay in for uh, this play. Keenan Allen... The route magician gets open, gets some space, and gets all the way down to the 20-yard line. All right, now they end up taking out uh, Austin Eckler. Now they put him at the complete bottom where he won't play anymore. And Isaiah Spiller coming off his big week last week. He's going to get about two on that game. Third down and two, and they brought Eckler back in. You know, it is what it is. All right, as long as he doesn't get injured, I won't care. As long as he doesn't get injured, and he gets us that first down. But if he ends up getting hurt, oh boy, I'll be heated. I am going to be furious. But let's see if Easton Stick can get himself a tutty. Let's see if he can do it. Um, I don't really... I see X wide open. But he very inaccurate. Because, you know, it's Easton Stick. He doesn't really play at all. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Josh Palmer could be open. Uh, Easton Stick used the feet. And he's in... He's in the end zone with a rushing touchdown. Easton Stick, the first touchdown of the year, extends our lead. Bro, the Broncos aren't giving up. They better not make me regret benching the starters because, I mean, if I have to throw the starters back in, that's kind of embarrassing. Isaiah Spiller would have run. But they're fighting back. Our de I didn't bench our defensive starters. Our defense is still in the game as we head to the fourth quarter. But... They're on a roll. We need to score on this possession and hope they don't... Why does that happen? Why is that third quarter? I'm so confused on why it does that. All right. But we need to hope our defense can uh, hold them maybe to a field goal if we can't score. Because if we can't put up any points on the board and they end up putting up another touchdown, that's where it gets into a tricky situation there. Can... Does Easton Stick have the arm strength? He does, but he doesn't have the accuracy. Boy, Josh Palmer got such separation there, and it wasn't enough. That is tragic right there. And Austin Eckler, though, man, he fumbled. We got the ball back, thank God. Eckler, bro, you can't be doing that. Third and two now. Let's see. Ooh, Eckler, you cannot be fumbling the ball like that, especially in a two-position game in the fourth quarter. We are going to get the conversion in a whole lot more, and that should be over 100 yards on the ground for Eckler. It is. Oh, my God, we fumbled again. Oh, my God, we fumbled again, and we did not. They got a touchdown. They got a touchdown, Isaiah Spiller. He runs out of stamina, and the Broncos cut the game to seven. All right, we made it to the 29-yard line, and we got ourselves a third and seven. And I just want to say, Easton Six got himself some wheels on him as Eckler. It gets broken up, so we're going to have to tell for a field goal. But yeah, man, Easton Stick can run the ball. I might keep him on this roster as the backup and run some, uh, like, QB run. I don't know if they have those plays in Madden. I'm going to have to find a playbook. But this this boy can run. 
I'll tell you that, but we caught it. I mean, extend it to a 10-point game. And let's see what our defense can do. Can they hold the Broncos? They do. 340 left. Let's try and run out this clock. By run out this clock, I mean run for a... I don't even know how far of a touchdown. What is that? A 58-yard touchdown for Isaiah Spiller? To ice the game? Yeah, that sounds about right. Isaiah Spiller with back-to-back 100-yard -back games on the ground. I might as well move this man to the starting running back and move Eckler to a wide receiver at this point, the way he's playing. What a two-game stretch for Isaiah Spiller, the rookie. Unbelievable. He even did it kind of through the air. As you can see, 10 rushes, 109 yards, and a touchdown in only, what, two quarters? That's insane right there. As we pick up a win and punch our ticket to the playoffs to most likely face, I think it was the Dolphins we were projected to face in round one. 48-31 to 31 is the final score. The Broncos had a late rally but could not complete it as they just make Seattle's pick a whole lot better. But big win for L.A. Final box score, Russell Wilson had a decent game. 25-41, 350 yards and a touchdown. Herbert had himself a perfect passer rating. 12-14, 251 yards and two touchdowns in two quarters. Easton Stick had a solid game himself. 7-12, for 12, 88 yards, no touchdowns. But he did have a touchdown on the ground. Two rushes of 16 yards. Isaiah Spiller had 10 rushes, 109 yards and a touchdown. And Austin Eckler had 10 rushes, so 20 in total 111 yards and two touchdowns so all together we had three touchdowns on the ground and we had 236 yards on the ground that's that's crazy uh receiving wise uh let's look for the charges austin eckler led us so we had a 100 yard receiving and running game allen 20 uh, 77 williams 63 palmer everett and mckitty getting involved Defense, did we get any set? Oh my God, Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa both had three. That's that's what I like to see. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. GG.